so make sure to give it a quick thumbs up and if you are not a current subscriber make sure to click that subscribe button and turn the post notifications so you'll never miss a video thanks hey what's going on guys cartrix here and today i'm going to be showing you a really awesome card trick and tutorial in one of my latest live streams i got a request to do any card in any number style routine so that is what i bring you today now, there's many different variations of any card in any number, but I chose this version for a very specific reason. First of all, it's easy, so it's not hard to pull off, so that's a plus. And second of all, the method used for this trick is so sneaky that no spectator, and I mean no spectator, will ever pick up how this trick works. So I think you can perform this trick a bunch of times for the same person, and they still won't figure out how you're doing it. So now, that's what we're going to do. Let's just get right into this trick. So, you'll notice I have a red deck of bicycle playing cards and a black deck of bicycle playing cards. So, just name either deck, it doesn't matter. You see the red deck? Okay, so we'll set the black deck off to the side. We'll get back to that in a little bit, but for now, we are just going to use this red deck. So, these cards can be cut and they can be shuffled to the spectator's liking. It really does not matter how much these cards are shuffled. So, give the cards a few more cuts and a few more shuffles, and then we can get to this trick. Okay, so now that the cards are decently mixed up, I'm going to have a spectator name any number in the entire deck so now i don't have a spectator with me so i'm going to call it a random number i'm not cheating they really can name any number they want in the entire deck so let's just say they say 22 they can name any number you want so they say 22 okay i'll put the number in the corner just so you don't forget so they name 22 now we can carry on with this trick so oh my bad guys i actually forgot to take out the jokers so let me go get the jokers out right now so there's one, and then I need to look for the second one. Where is it? Sorry about this, guys. That, that was my fault. I should have took out the Jokers beforehand. But okay, now I was able to get the Jokers out of the deck, so we don't really need these anymore. We're just going to throw these in the card box, and we'll just get rid of these. We don't really need them. Okay, so we'll give the cards actually one more shuffle before we continue on. Because I don't want you guys to think that when I looked at the cards, I was cheating in any kind of way. So give the cards a few more cuts and one more shuffle. Okay. So now what was that card you named before? You said 22, am I correct? Okay. So don't forget 22. So now, what I want you to do is just go ahead and cut the cards anywhere you'd like. So let's say they cut the cards right here. And now we're going we're gonna to mark the place where you cut to. We're not gonna, and we'll come back to that in just a little bit. Now we're going to come back to the black deck. So, I'm just going to peel out the cards as fair as I possibly can. Okay? And what I'm going to do is here, is we're going to count out 22 cards, since you've said 22, and you could have named any number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And the 22nd card is the Queen of Hearts. So you could have named any number from 1 to 52. And we landed on the Queen of Hearts. And over here, you also could have cut to any place in the entire deck. But you happen to cut to the Queen of Hearts. So anyways, guys, that is the trick. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So now let's get straight into the tutorial. Alright, guys, hopefully you stuck around for the tutorial. So I'm not even going to talk too much. I'm just going to dive right into this tutorial. Again, the method here is so sneaky. So now, there is a bit of a setup here, and I'm going to go into that in detail right now. Let's start with the black deck. So first thing you want to do is just get two different color decks. That's all you really have to do. And this deck is set up with the Psy Stebbin stack. So all you have to do is set the cards up with the Psy Stebbin stack, and then you should be completely fine. Now, um, I know some people don't know what the Psy Stebbin stack is. I think most of you do, but if you do not know what the Psy Stebbin stack is, I'll go over how to set the deck up right now. Alright guys, so like I said, if you do not know how to do the size step and stack, then I'm going to get into what that is and how you set it up right now. If you already know it, then just fast forward a little bit till this part's over. So the size step and stack, you're going to arrange, you're going to separate all the suits, clubs, hearts, spades, and diamonds. You're going to set them ace to king order for every single pile with the king on top, just like this. And make sure they are in clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds order. This is known as chaste order. Because the, um, the giant C is clubs, the giant H is for hearts, 
the giant S is for spades, and the giant D is for diamonds, so they call it chaste order. So, the way you're going to do this is you're going to take the ace of clubs and then move it to the top. In the hearts pile, you're going to take the ace through four just like this, move it to the top. In the spades pile, you're going to go ace through seven, move it to the top. And from here, you're going to go ace through ten, move it to the top. And now from here, what you're going to do is you're going to take the club and then a heart and then a spade and then a diamond. And then you're going to go back to clubs, then to hearts, then to spades, and then to diamonds. And you're just going to stack the deck just like this. And what this does is it puts a clubs, hearts, spade, diamond, obviously. And the cards go up in three card intervals. So I'll, I'll give you an example right now. So you go 9 plus 3 is 12 and then... 12 obviously is queen if you do queen plus three it goes to king and then it circles bounds around to ace and then two and then two plus three is five so you can see it goes clubs heart spade diamonds and it goes up by three numerals so you're just going to go through the entire thing just like this and that's basically the Cy Stebbins stack Okay, so now once you have the deck stacked, it's actually uh, undisturbable. You can actually cut the cards as many times as you want, but the size, step, and stack overall will not be disturbed. However, with this trick, you cannot cut the cards. You need to keep it in the original size, step, and stack order. And I'll get into more of why as the tutorial goes on. Okay, so now that you've learned how to set the deck using the size, step, and stack, you should be ready to go. So, have the deck used in the size, step, and, in, in the size, step, and stack, and like I mentioned before, you can cut the cards in the size, step, and stack, and it will not disturb the size, step, and order, but in this trick, you cannot cut the cards. You must leave the size, step, and stack in its original order, and I'll get more into that right now, actually. So, now put the cards with the size, step, and stack back in the box. Now here's what this deck looks like. This deck is actually completely normal. This is completely shuffled up pack and it's completely randomized. But this is what I was talking about with the secret method. Is the two jokers. Here is what you're going to have. You're going to have one joker that's normal. But the other joker, you're going to have a piece of paper to it. Tape to it. That has the location of every single card in the Psy Stebbin stack. And I actually should have mentioned before, credit to this trick was to Miss Magic 82. That's where I discovered this trick. So what I'll do is is I'll leave I'll leave this in the description below. I'll have basically this list in the descri description below. Then you can copy and paste it to like Google Docs or you know Word, Microsoft Word, something like that. And then make sure you size it up so that the page can actually fit on a playing card. So just in case it looks confusing, it's not. This just means the ace of clubs is in the is the first card. The four of hearts is in the second position. The seven of spades is in the third position. The ten of diamonds is in the fourth position. The king of clubs is in the fifth position, and so on. So that's why this is so sneaky, because no spectator is ever going to suspect that there's a card in the deck that tells you the location of every single card in this deck. And this is why you can't cut the cards, um, because let's say they say number 35, right, which is the Queen of Spades. If these cards are cut, then the Queen of Spades, even though it doesn't disturb size sevens, size sevens, then the Queen of Spades itself will not be in the 35th position anymore. So that's why you have to keep it in the original size sevens order. So again, this will be in the description below, copy, paste it, print it out. So now, now that you have that, the Joker... Just get some scotch double stick tape and then just tape that onto the card. And now you're going to take both of these jokers and just bury them into the middle of your deck somewhere. They can be in complete random places and then you're going to put these in the box. Just to save time, I'll keep it out of the box. So now you're going to... Oh wait, actually, yeah, I should get into this part too. So I'm going to put them into the box. And you'll see why. Because in the beginning of the trick, you're going to tell your spectator to point to any card or any box rather. You're going to tell them to point to any card box that they would like. They can point to the red or the black. Now, you're going to use Magician's Force here because you need to set aside the black deck because this is the one with the size 7 stack. So, 
if they point to the red deck, you'll say, great, we'll use this, we'll set the other deck off to the side. Now, if they pick the black deck, again, you're using Magician's Force, you'll say, okay, we'll set this deck off to the side, and we'll use the one left over. So no matter what, they're going to be picking the red deck, in a way. So once you have that narrowed down, you can set the box off to the side. Now, you're going to give the cards a few cuts and a few shuffles. Now, normally I give the deck a bunch of riffle shuffles. Right now, you do not want to do any riffle shuffles, because that joker with that piece of paper, if you do a riffle shuffle, the cards can accidentally interweave with the paper, and the paper can actually fall off in the middle of the trick, and then that'll screw up your whole trick. So you don't want to do any riffle shuffles, otherwise that piece of paper will fall off the card. So just do some overhand shuffles, and then, you know, some swing cuts, and you can even do a few false cuts if you want, although that really doesn't really make a difference. So just give it some false cuts, and then a few overhand shuffles. And then um, don't overhand shuffle it face up, otherwise you could flash that joker as you just saw. So definitely overhand shuffle it face down so you don't expose that joker with the list on it. So once it's shuffled, you're just going to set the deck down and you're going to say, go ahead and name any number from 1 to 52. So let's just say they give 13. They can name, again, any number. It's a free choice. So you'll say, okay. So you said 13, so now let's move on. And then you want, you're going to say, oh, wait a minute, my bad, I forgot to remove the jokers. So now, what you're going to do is, is you're going to put the deck to yourself so the spectators can't see what you're doing, but I'm going to give you guys an exposed view right now of what, what's happening. So I'm not showing them, but I'm removing the two jokers. So I'm just out jogging the two jokers. And what I'm actually doing is, is whatever number they said I'm looking at my list and what we say they said 13 so I look at I look at my list and I see the 13th card in the size statement stack is the jack of clubs so I'm gonna spread through the deck I'm just gonna go spreading through the deck just a little bit more just kinda casually I'm gonna take the jack of clubs and cut it to the top of the deck and remove the two jokers so that's all there is to it. What, so whatever number they say, uh, you go through the deck, say, oops, I forgot to take out the jokers. Look at your list. If whatever number they say, they say 13. So that means I'm going to be looking for the jack of clubs. Cut the card that's in their position to the top of the deck. So right here. And then what you're going to do is, is take this one, the regular joker, and put it on top. So obviously you don't show the list. And then don't keep them square like this because that looks really suspicious. Leave it out jog slightly so they can kind of see the other joker. Like, okay, we have the jokers, square it up, and then just put these in the box and forget about it. Put, take your box, put it in your pocket, put the box away, and then you can completely forget about it. But now you know that the 13th card in the size 7 stacks of Jack of Clubs, and then, of course, you cut it to the top of the deck here. And this is why this trick is so good. Because when the trick is over, the spectators are not going to say, let me see the jokers that you put in the box. Because that's what they're going to think, right? They're going to be like, I bet you he has a list on the joker that tells him where all the cards are. No one is ever going to think that. That's why this trick is so ingenious. So, now that you cut their selection to the top or uh, the card in their randomly chosen number to the top, you can come to this deck. Actually, no, before you do that, you're going to tell them to cut the cards anywhere. So they can cut anywhere. This is a free choice. And this is actually how you're going to force the card on them. You're just going to cut the card, cut the cards, and then you're going to take this and mark it. I think this is called the cross cut or something like that. But notice, this is the top card, right? The card that you're going to force on them. You cut it, and then you cross it. So that's their card right here. So you cross it. And then when you come over to this deck and start the counting, that uses misdirection. Because now when you come back, you just remove this and show this card. So it makes it look like that you're taking the card that they cut to, but in reality, you're just taking the top card. So that's what you do. They cut whatever you want, you cross it to mark the cut, and then you come over to this deck to use misdirection. Because then they're totally going to forget about this, and they're actually going to think this is where they cut. So here, it's as simple as taking out this deck, and you, you said 13, count down 13 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And because we had our list, we know the 13th card in the size segment stack is the Jack of Clubs. You can set this off to the side, and you can be like, 
you could have chosen any number, and the 13th card was the Jack of Clubs. And it just so happens that the card that you cut to, again, here's that misdirection and that force, is the Jack of Clubs. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it to this trick and tutorial. I hope you guys liked this one. Again, this trick is just showing genius. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Again, if you need that list for the the, the, the list for the cards, then that'll be in the description below. You can just print that out. So, that is pretty much it, for, again, for this whole thing. Uh, I will see you guys in the next one, so make sure you leave a comment below, like the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more magic like this. So, again, I still have 84 subscribers now, so I'm still trying to hit that first goal of 100 subscribers. So, again, you know, tapping that subscribe button would mean a lot to me. And, of course, click the bell notification so you'll never miss a video. You know what? I'm going to shut up now because I already said that in the beginning of the video. You don't want me to hear me say it again. But, yeah, so I'll see you in the next video or maybe a live stream next. Depends on what we're going to be doing. So, yeah, that's that. So, uh, I'll see you guys next time. Because the magic of Wally Dreams, Card Trick 8, signing off. Peace out. <laughs>